What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Curb Stomp Podcast. Right after Mania, we're doing some backlashing. No, that's that's in a month. Well, yeah, but it's next thing up. Next week. We're not we're not backlashing right now. No, but yeah, yeah, we are. We are going to stand here and we're going to deliver what happened. We're going to stand and deliver what happened. We're going to stand and deliver what happened. <laughs> Uh, we are right after Mania. Technically, this is Season 2 of Curb Stomp Podcast. Welcome to the Season 2. There's no changes in the current look as I know it at the moment. But, uh, yeah. That's my fault. Yeah, that is your fault. You were, you were supposed to tell me what you wanted the whole thing to look like. I, I kept studying looking, and then I always got a text, and I always got distracted. We're always getting text messages from people. Crazy. Yeah. I know I'm a, I'm popular. Are you? Yeah. Are you I'm really? Cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Press X to doubt. Oh. X to doubt. Anyways, WrestleMania happened over the weekend. We were live for the entire weekend from Stand and Liver to Night One and Night Two to this fucking Slammy Awards. Slammy Awards. We were live for the entire thing. More like I was alive for the entire thing besides the Slammys. That was Caleb taking the, taking the reins from me. Yeah. Me. But. Yeah, I was like, you know the reference. I watched the the movie, yes. I did watch the movie. You know what I was referring to. Yes. (laughs) But yeah, um, WrestleMania happened over the weekend. It was a massive, massive weekend. Somehow, I mean, we'll probably get into it, but I believe WrestleMania 40 forgot what a bad match was. Yes. Entirely. But you know what someone didn't forget? Bleacher Bleacher Report forgot what a bad list is. They have. Well, they always have bad lists. What are you talking about? They released their top fifty superstars of all time, <laughs> and it's it's been slowly coming out. And you know, it's it's been ten at a time. So I was like, we don't need to cover it because mm-hmm. you know we won't know who's coming. We don't know this that. We won't remember it. The we this week they will they finished the list. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go names na- by name. Good, but okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll read off all fifty. Let's go by let's go by top ten. Well, no. Well, okay. Here, I'll just do top ten first. Number ten is Hulk Hogan. Okay, don't like it, but sure. Number nine is Rowdy Roddy Piper. Going to be in the top ten. Number eight is Shawn Michaels. Okay, should be higher, but okay. Number seven is The Rock. Okay, I think it's proper. Number six is Bruno San Martino. Makes sense. Number five is Juan Cena. Five? At five. Number four is The Undertaker. Okay. Number three is Macho Man. Really? Randy Savage. Number two is Stone Cold. You want to take a guess who number one is? I know who number one is, but like, there's no Triple H anywhere in the top ten. That's wild. Triple H is 21. That's fucking stupid. Number 20 is CM Punk. That's fucking stupid as fuck. Number one is The Hitman. Some other names that are interesting, interestingly split placed. Ric Flair is 24. That's fair. I think that's fair. Charlotte Flair is 27. She should be above her dad. <coughs> and is the highest rated woman's wrestler on the list. It makes sense, but it shouldn't be. But Number 28 is China. Shouldn't be that high. Number 44 is Kofi Kingston. Okay. Number 47 is Dean Ambrose. I think Ambrose should be but over the, Kingston, but okay. The biggest robbery of them all, Edge was number 25. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I'm not saying I get it, get it, but I kind of get it. Who's better all time? Edge or CM Punk? we will go with Edge. Edge or... Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, Becky Lynch was the highest rated woman, woman at 23. Edge or McFoley? I go Edge. Edge or Andre the Giant? Probably Andre. Edge or Brock Lesnar? Personally, I go Edge, but probably it's Brock Lesnar. Edge or Daniel Bryan? Edge. All names ahead of him. That's that's stupid. Okay, the name is ahead Edge of him. Rowdy, Edge or Rowdy? Edge Rowdy? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Edge or Roddy, Roddy Piper? I could probably go with Edge, but that's just my personal 
Mm-hmm. That's because I experienced more edge. Oh well. <sighs> that's how we'll start it off with that list. Yep. Yeah. Um, Bobby Lashley made a strong statement he's concerning the main event. Okay. There's four guys in the main event. Uh-huh. I've beaten three of them. Uh huh. Who has he not beat? Cody Rhodes. Is it Cody? It might be. I think so. Oh, I mean, not his current run. He might beat him like way back in the day, but that's what that's what I'm thinking. Is is it the Rock? It might be the Rock. I don't think they I ever. Been... Hey, has he beat Roman? Yes, yeah. it, he would have. He would have early 2020. I was gonna say in the 10s. But right before. Okay. Want the good news? Sure. Actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's one more. There's one more fun little niche thing before we actually get in the weekend. I read a post from 10 years ago with the subject, what do you think WrestleMania XL will be like 10 years from now? Us complaining about Roman Reigns, probably. <laughs> in a different way, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Now the fun news. This is all starting from Friday, leading into today. Wow, into the day? Today? Today being Tuesday. Today being Tuesday before NXT. We always have to clarify that so no one comes from our heads for missing that much news. Cody Rhodes told Pat, tells McAfee that Seth Rollins was the one who gave him Seltzer after Cody Rhodes' bus caught fire. Yeah, we, we knew. Th- oh, I guess we didn't talk about that last week, yeah. Duck. What, we didn't talk about that last week? Yes. It happened last week before Mania. Yeah. I know, but you were going to say we know we knew that. Well, we did. We knew that. We just never talked about it. That's what I'm saying. Drew McIntyre with another great post leading into the weekend. Before we get into the Let's Day one. <laughs> I was going to say, we're, we're going to jump ahead. He, he posted a video of someone holding bread. <clears throat> half and half bread. And he said, Seth and Cody tagging at WrestleMania. Guys, this is half and half. Half shit and half shit. God. Back in January, I called Nick Khan, our friend, and I said, I have an you idea. You called Nick Khan? A... Yes, I personally called You Nick personally Khan. called Nick Khan. Okay, cool. Yes, and I am now doing the Rock Johnson. All right, cool. <laughs> Dwayne called saying, you know, I have an idea. Why don't we take care of the people? Give them Cody and Roman. And said that the Swiss should be, I become the greatest bad guy of all time. I don't think he did that in January. I think they pivoted, and we'll figure that yeah. out tomorrow when that YouTube documentary drops. Yeah. Pat McAfee cooked AEW over the weekend. He always does. If it wasn't for you, he'd probably be at that other place in front of 600 people. Yeah. Fun fact, AEW is coming to Colorado at the arena I work at. I don't know how you want, want me to respond to that. Because I'm going to be at AEW Wrestling for a day. Wow, that's crazy. They're also going to Peoria, which is like two hours away from me. <laughs> um, Gunther, the first time I wrestled in America was actually in Philadelphia. Hmm? The crowd cheered. And now I realize it's the same dump it was 15 years ago. This <laughs> man's. That's why he's the le- legend. Who did the Triple- legend killer? Triple H cooked a few members of AEW. Do, do you know? Do you remember what he said? No, I, I don't. I don't remember him cooking. It. If it's not in it for the grind at this point. Uh, this at this at that point early in your career, you have no business being here. Hmm? Which everyone took as a direct shot at a bunch of the AEW guys pe- they signed to that want their part time schedule that AEW hmm. has yeah. instead of actually having to you know work because he won't have to work. Work, 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 work. Dwayne Dwayne Johnson on who the spirit of the final boss is, and he said it's Darth Vader. It's definitely not. It's definitely It's not. Bowser. What? It's Bowser. 
thousand percent. No, it's, ba- it's the thousand percent Bowser. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a thousand it's percent. One, it's one hundred percent me. This man's is not cooking. This man's is not. No, cooking. it is one hundred percent Odin from God of War. No, it is not. Odin's like yes. a bitch. <laughs> Fought when he needed to fight. He sent his lackeys out first. Roman, Solo, and then the guy's ass clapped. Yes, and he's gonna get his ass clapped next year, which we'll talk about more later. That's not happening. The f- this is this is Michael Cole talking about Cody Rhodes on the Pat McAfee show. Cody Rhodes in my soul. Yes, this is a fact. The last time Roman. My man next to me wrestles every single week. You're gonna get a back uh, up. You're glitching, bro. Of course I am. Yeah, this is why we use StreamYard. <laughs> I, who do we who do we have to play this week? Hey, that's gonna be streamed all weekend. I gave you the option to use mine! Fuck you. What did Michael Cole say? This is a fact. The last time Roman Reigns had a match was at the Royal Rumble on the last Saturday of January. Correct. My man next to me, Cody Rhodes, wrestles every week, not only on Raw, but at live events around this country. So I cannot think of a better person to represent what WWE is going today than Cody Rhodes. In my soul. Yeah. He's absolutely correct. I mean, when is Michael Cole not correct? Um, all the time. That was false. Absolutely false. Or is always Tony. cooking. All the time. False. Cody said he grabbed two things for out of his troll bus before it caught fire. I hope one's Pharaoh. I hope one is Pharaoh, yeah. <laughs> but he said people would like it. It's probably Pharaoh and Brandy Rhodes. I, I hope so. <laughs> Not a child, though. Not his child. Fuck the child. Leave the kid. <laughs> not, not literally, though. Jesus Christ. God, we're not Vince McMahon. <laughs> uh, the commentary team was Michael Cole, McAfee, and Coy Graves. Yes, you know. Which was a dub. Yep. We did the best commentators. The, the big thing. 85 years, w, the crowd has forced a pivot in WWE. Every five, uh... WrestleMania of the... WrestleMania 30, Daniel uh, Bryan. Sure. Mania 35, Kofi Kingston. Sure. This year, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Every time I, I hear Cody Rhodes, I think, I think Cody Rhodes. Cody um, Rhodes. Yeah. Whoa! There goes Cody Rhodes. We are, this episode's Whoa. so fucking cooked. Right? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's so cooked and it's your fault. It's not cooked because of that. It's cooked because of, oh, it's just tired. I'm I'm high. Mm. I'm kidding. AJ Styles talking about the Lose, rest of his career. What, losing to LA Knight? We, are, we haven't gone there. We have yet to get there. It's still We're still on Friday. Uh-huh. That he is close to the end of his career. Me I'll give you this. Uh, do you want the spark notes or the full quotes? You know, the spark notes. I don't want to listen to all of it. Just... He says he's getting close to the end of his career. But he wants to have the story and match to go before he leaves. Okay. He knows he's going to retire. His mind keeps on saying that he can do it, but his, he knows his body can't. Mm-hmm. And when he, he wants to end up retiring, being, people being able to say... When you, that when he sees it, that when you see AJ Styles, you go, that guy's that guy's just the guy I know, rather than he just isn't the same guy he used to be. Yeah, you just want to go out, out on top. Yeah. Which is fair. Hmm. Ain't a man anything where you, yeah, you, it's still kind of good. You still win the championship and then you leave. Okay. Now back to the rubber band to the Kevin Owens show. I mean, not the oh, Kevin Owens, the Pat McAfee show. Jesus Christ. Okay. I still... Triple H, I still train, but I don't think I should be out there taking bumps because I got a jump starter. 
I got a backup system, and you don't want to unplug the wires. I'm good with it. I have zero regrets. On a return to the ring. Good. I don't. I don't want to see Triple H die in the ring. I'm gonna be real. Lo- Logan Paul. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Fighting Kevin Owens is harder than fighting Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I can. I can. I. I bet because it's you're having your whole body being attacked. On. I mean, Res- wrestling is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and I take it very seriously. Good. He said he's retiring from boxing. Logan Paul was getting cheered on the Pat McAfee show. And Pat McAfee was, you know, pushing it to the cheer more and more. Well, yeah, that, that's kind of like the same uh, audience. Logan Paul then said, I'm supposed to be a heel, dude. Uh-huh. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. We have now we'll, finally we're on Friday Night SmackDown though. I I, I sped run the news because there's a lot more I could have why done. Why are we Why are we covering SmackDown? Because there's funny moments. What, what funny moments happen in SmackDown? He's across the street. Let's go get him, and then jumps jumps in a golf cart and goes across the street in a golf cart. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Owens and Randy Orton decided to chase down Logan Paul. From Wells Fargo to Lincoln Financial, then back to Wells Fargo. And jumped in. Yep. Dragon Lee was attacked backstage. Leaving Andrade to take the spot. Letting Andrade take the spot. Yep. Other than that, we have a Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Round to applause, the big Shishami. It should have been a Kurosawa. It should have been. It's funny. I saw I saw it on tr- the results on Twitter because we see the show an hour later here of the SmackDown. Yeah. Why do you see an hour later? I don't know. That's weird. But, so I I knew the Andre I knew about Andrade. I knew about the Bronson Reed winning the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial before SmackDown went on air in Colorado. That's weird. Why why doesn't like cause Geek already said it. And it does an hour delay too. Why does it do that? No, God doesn't. But why does SmackDown? Well, that's so fucking I weird. I don't know why SmackDown does. Does Fox have a different schedule in, in Denver or something? Apparently. Um. But Bronson needs our newest Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Dinner. I mean, he's gonna get a push for next year and the fucking stock. Is he though? That's what happened with Bobby. But Cesaro didn't get a push when he won it. Yeah, but that's when Vince was in charge fully. This is Triple H in charge. He says, oh, Bobby Lashley wins this, so we're going to push him for that over the next year to get him into Mania. Bronze Reed has confirmed a spot for Mania 41 unless he gets injured. Or just has to leave the company. Judgment Day attacked on SmackDown, but attacked New Kids Republic and A Town Down. I'm very jealous. We had Jey Uso versus Solo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it happened. Pretty much. Basically. Right down with and the then the Hall of Fame! Yeah. We had some cool inductees. But we all know the one we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. The one who made clip after clip after clip. After clip. Well, because he went full ECW. He went full on ECW. Thank you, that you Paul Heyman. Paul, my name is Paul Heyman. And this is why I am the goat. Or the goat? What did you, you bring up? He's the he's the goat of he's the greatest manager of all time. I don't think there's many much about that. I mean, he even said someone on um, ESPN last year, the goat. And the undisputed go. He is. Do not defy him. Or you will die. He's and better I'm... than the, anyone who he's represented. Yeah. And I will kill him than myself for arguing it. <laughs> Personally, see to the execution. God damn. Oh. But, you know, we had a Roman Reigns talking about how he will stop being the tribal chief when he's no longer the vice man. Who thought that was him saying a little tire whenever Paul Heyman retired? 
I don't blame him. I'm that's not retirement. It's him saying I'm gonna retire the tribal chief gimmick. Nope, he's retiring. Retire. Um. So Roman inducted him. I still think if it wasn't for the fact that the man who should have inducted him was in this weird spot, that that Lesnar should have been the one to induct him. Sure. You can't argue that. Not going to. Good. But Paul Heyman had some legendary moments. He is a legendary moment. He For example, saying that he will forever be a Paul Levesque guy. Yep. I mean, yeah. But the most legendary moment was when he opened up that box and he pulled out his old ECW gear. Mm-hmm. And then it's ended up close to it. He said, and those who said ECW died 20 years ago, you can suck my fucking dick. <laughs> Paul Heyman's a legend. He is a legend. Legendary mid person. I'm kidding. Do not, do not try to push agenda saying I'm saying I'm clipping that and posting it everywhere. If you do, I will leave Cubs Not Podcast forever and I'll have. <laughs> I'll, I'll handpick my predecessor, predecessor. Your predecessor? You know, your predecessor is the person before you, right? That, your successor is the person after you. But no, you'll, you'll want him to be my predecessor. There was no predecessor before you. You'll want, you'll want that to be so you could bring them back. Because oh, I will gonna, loyally. So like, your I predecessor is God. <laughs> yes. And I'm better than God. I'm 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 definitely clipping that. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> no, you ain't. I'm not allowing it. Mm-hmm. You're... Um. Beautiful. You ready again? for the front pod now? Yeah, let's go and stand deliver. Psych! Bitch. A Bray Wyatt statue was was posted was set up at uh, WWE World. Yep. WWE has a new signature. Now we can go to stand and deliver. Signature? Which is what they call. It's what they call, they call it. The opening sequence. Yeah, they got revealed during night one. Yep. We could just, we could just say that tonight one. Uh, I didn't want to forget it. Oh, fuck you. I bet you would. Hey yo. Hey okay. yo. It is time to stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. Okay, uh, the greatest night in Grayson's life. You could not stop winning to. I couldn't. There is no way I was losing that that like, day. Every agenda you wanted to push. Got pushed. I think the the best thing is you said this might be the first time one of us is scram- that I'm the one scrambling for agendas. Yeah, because I'm I'm perfectly like happy with everything that happened, and you're like I gotta find something to do. I gotta find something to push. <laughs> I found my things to push too. Okay, okay. So first off, Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin retained, which was weird, but okay. I I'm, I was very shocked by that. I mean, I know. did not expect that at all. It's fine. I'm happy with it. I, I, I'll take for Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin. I'd rather have I'm trying, I'm trying. Braun at full time at SmackDown, but, you know, it's over. Then next match was... Was the next you ha- match... Do you not have the card in front of you? No, but I'm pretty sure I remember it. Oh my god. The next match was Obafemi versus Josh Briggs versus Dijak. Yeah, we thought that Josh Briggs wasn't going to be a part of it at, at all. Yeah. And he was caught calling spots. Dude, they were the most obvious spot calls, dude. It's not like, everyone calls call a spot during a match, but it was, like, super obvious. But yeah. he was calling the spots. It, it was disgusting. Oh, we forgot about the, 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 the pre-show match. No, we didn't. We were choosing to ignore it. Okay. It was bad. Before I gave it the D, Jesus Christ. Yeah, pre pre show match. Joe Gacy beat Sean Spears. Done. It was all right. It didn't give me anything to like. Like I've been trying to figure out is Sean Spears like someone I like, and I, I I still don't know. Yes. He is. I I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um. By law, he has to be. 
uh, Oba Femi, uh, the, the triple threat was great. Um, besides Josh yeah. Briggs trying to call spots all the fucking time and just being overall, Josh Briggs was, was the biggest link. He was struggling out there. He didn't know what he was doing. Oba Femi and, and Die Jack had carried the fuck out of that match. And you know who was the best performer in that match? Oba Femi. Nope, Die Jack. Nah, Oba Femi. Die Jack. Oba Femi. Die Jack. Oh, and the guy who won it was the best performer. But of not the we, but yeah, he won the match. But as far as wrestling standpoint, Dijak was the best. Nah, yes. did, he, did he carry two people on his on his shoulders and toss them off? No, but was Dijak taking all the hard spots? Taking hard spots don't mean you're good. That was he the one? I can I can take I I can take bumps. Was he the one who had the most iconic camera shot in NXT history? That's Oba Femi grabbing his throat. What are you talking about? Yes. But but Dijak sold the hell out of it. He sold it, but I mean, it was good. All right. The next match was the six women tag team match. Okay, now you have the card up. <laughs> huh? You have the card up, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was no, sick. I don't. Oh, well, you got it right. I, I remember the card. Uh-huh. I don't. I remember, remember the card for both nights. I don't. So, the uh, next, the, do you have it? it I am right so far. You are correct so far. This was the six one tag. Dia Hale, yep. Fallon Henley, and Kalani Jordan versus JC Jane, Keanu James, and Izzy Dame. Thank you, because I would not have gotten the names right. Woo! <laughs> what the Just fuck? Just being real, I would not have gotten the names right. What the fuck? Come here. Sorry, right, my dog is deciding to fuck the fuck. What's wrong? Um. <laughs> one second. Thea Hale was the one who won by, who got the pinfall. Win. Cause she's fucking great, dude. She was the one who was kicking the most ass in that match too. Um, honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real here. Uh, Izzy Dame didn't sell, sell me anything that she was doing at all. I I really didn't care for her in this match. She was kind of just doing. Yeah. Um, everyone else was doing pretty good. I think Jason Jane and Thea Hale were the, the standouts. Obviously, they were the two biggest names in that. Um, and I think are the two biggest names to be the, for the next thing that got announced right after this match. You want to talk about what got announced after the match? At the, at the next match, or this guy, the thing that the, the big thing that got announced was after oh. the match. Oh, the newest belt coming to WWE. Grayson's biggest agenda pusher. Oh, yeah. The NXT North American Women's Championship. The NXT Women North American Championship. I got there in the end. In the wrong order, but you got it there. Uh, yeah, so um, they're, they're testing a mid card championship in NXT. Obviously, I hope this works out. If it doesn't work out, we're, I'm fu- I'm gonna be fucking pissed. But they're testing yes. mid card championship in NXT. So eventually, I'd say about six months to a year, um, we'll get one in WWE if it's successful. And I'm gonna guess it's gonna be successful when Thea Hale becomes the first NXT Women's North American Championship. One. I know it's the first one gonna be. Who do you think the first one's gonna be? Give me someone who's not currently in NXT. Julia? Natalia. Dude, don't give it to a current main roster. That's fucking stupid. Give it to Natalia. No, don't give it to a fucking main roster fucking person. Give it to Natalia! You just want to ruin my happiness. That's what you're trying to do. No, I really do think it's actually going to go to her. It's, it's she's Natalia? On, she's going to be on NXT tonight. Keep in mind, we're recording Tuesday. Yeah, but like, you can do a whole. No. Yes! No. Yes. So no, give it to someone who's a rising star in NXT, but not at the NXT. You know what? If it's not that, I want it to be Blair fucking Davenport. Sure, give it to Blair. I don't I, like just give it to someone who's in NXT currently and who's currently. Give it to Naomi. Okay, so um, Kale is banned from any talking about what was that. Oh, oh, oh! It's because she's black, isn't it? No, because she's on SmackDown. My God. No. You you said you said you just said no to Natalia, a white woman, and now you're trying to ban me for saying a black woman's name. I'm trying to say it has been an NXT superstar like the Hale, Blair Davenport, someone who's on I, rising up. Dude, Fallon Henley would be great one for that for that too, you know? Soroka would be great. I I'm I'm just saying. I'm Soroka, making an observation. Soroka's back, she's doing the soul snatcher, which is a, it's still one of those beautiful moves in all of WWE. I would actually be fine with her. The Soul Snatcher, Soul Roka. I would be perfectly fine with her. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of options here, and I think that a lot of people are like, 
I, I saw a lot of people like, there's not enough talent. I'm like, there's enough talent. There's enough talent to go around. They can they can do they can do it easily. If they can do it for the men, they can do it for the women. That's that's the as simple as it gets. Okay. The next match. Let's see if we get it right. Roxanne Perez beat Lyra Valkyrie. God dang, you did get it right. Yes, I remember the cards! I don't remember the cards, so um, I remember I will guarantee you I get back I get both Mania Knights in order correct too. We'll, we'll talk about Mania in just a second. We gotta get through this first, okay? Roxanne Perez, and new NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez, two-time Roxy, Roxy two-time, and it's gonna be a short reign. It's going to be a short reign, yeah. But that's fine about me because what happened on Monday is saying everything I need to know. Hey, we're not. Are we at Monday? No, we'll talk about Just it. I, I'm, I'm happy, okay? Uh, but Roxanne Perez is out. Uh, has joined an elite company with the only other two-time women's uh, NXT champions being Charlotte Flair and Shayna Baszler. I want to remind everyone that Shayna Baszler was her in NXT, so... Um, and she still and was her when she got called up. Yeah, and then she just... Uh, and was her until Vince McMahon, for some reason, decided to kill her push. That's Vince, that's a, that's Vince for you. And uh, had her lose to Becky Lynch at Mania when there was no reason to have Becky what, Lynch beat her. Becky Mania. says she wanted Shayna to win that match. Yes. And it made sense for Shayna to win that match. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Shayna was being was gonna be if if Shayna won that match, she would have been the she would have been Revia is now. No, because she would not be, not popularity wise and mommy wise. She would not be mommy. Um, but as a threat wise, as a threat, yes, she would be up there. Yeah, okay. I, I'm thinking like career wise. I'm like I think that Shayna would get a little more of a push. No, she'd be such a big threat if she would have won that match. But now... She could be the Brock Lesnar of the women's division. Yes, and now she's basically a mid-card talent. And you know what? When that mid-card championship comes up, she is a perfect person to take that. Yes, even though I still think she should dethrone Mia. That's disgusting. You heard me. No, she should dethrone... I can't say, because we have all the new champions. We have champions. Yeah, not enough. I don't know, yeah, I agree. Uh, but Roxanne Perez, uh, here's the victory over a ladder of Valkyria. Uh, really good match overall. I think Roxanne kicked ass, Lyra kicked ass. Um, just can't wait till Roxanne comes to the main roster. So uh, never happen. But uh, Roxanne got over with using uh, Tatum Paxley mostly to distract her, to distract Lyra. And that's going to lead to a, a Tatum uh, Lyra feud, probably. 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 Now you ready for the next match? Um, they showed Julia during this match, which makes me really happy because they signed Julia. They, they got apparently, officially announced. Apparently, they came out today. That was WWE offered more money, which is wild. They offered more money than AEW, which is wild, and had more interest than AEW, which is awesome. I love it. I love to see it. Makes me super happy. I love Julia. Julia's great. Next up on the schedule. We have the Don. The Don. Against my goat. The dragon. Bizarre. Shaw of NXT. Ilya Dragunov. I saw a funny tweet of Dragunov tonight. Hey, they kiss. Hey, they kiss in the ring. That's all I care about. Hey. Hey, they love each other. I mean, it, it showed a lot for the Don. I think the Don himself will be turning a face after this. The family's gonna turn on him. Well, yeah, but he will turn face. Me and the family will turn on him because they're heels. Um, and I will hate every second of it. Probably. But he refused brass knuckles. He refused help from the family. Like, he's he's turning face. He was trying to be an honorable Don. He is an honorable Don. We respect Which I him. fucking hate. He should have been, they should have had him die fully into the Don character. Nah. Nah. It made it for a better match. It made for a better match. But imagine Ilya wins with all that. So you want to make him Super Cena? Yes! So he never leaves NXT. Great, cool. I'm with it, sure. No, he'll double duty. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Not a little bit. It's going to take us like an hour to get through the whole fucking card. And the main event. You ready? We had Carmelo Hayes versus Whoop That Trick. 
Whoop that trick. Come on, Grayson. Whoop that trick. I'm too white. I don't have enough fucking, like, you know, rhythm. Grayson! Grayson! Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. I don't have rhythm. Whoop that trick. No, we're, going, we're, we're not stopping until you whoop that trick. I, I did that. I, I did it for a little bit. I, I can't do it for a long time because I'll lose the rhythm. You you need to you need to say it. I I'm, I'm not saying it. You need to say it. You need Jesus. You need to say it. Nope. Anyways, uh, Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes for nothing. There was no tag. There was no championship in the line. It was wild. That main event. I had no championship on the line on the in the biggest PLE for for NXT, but it's for good reason. And it's the first time two black men have made and invented a PLE since The Rock and Booker T, I believe it was, in 2001. And um, it's also the last time, it's also the first, it's also the first time since two black wrestlers in general have made and invented since Sasha and Bianca. Yeah. So awesome oh. things to happen. Uh, and it had an awesome match. Yeah, I I mean Trick Williams kicked ass, Carmelo kicked ass like they like they know how to do. I'm told the end. It doesn't didn't even matter. All I had to do is whoop that trick. Carmelo went so far. King mm -hmm. got so far, but in the end, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Oh uh, yeah, Trick Williams got the win over Carmelo Hayes. Um, I mean, really good match. I don't, um, I wouldn't say it was, like, it wasn't, like, a match of the year candidate, but it was really good. Yeah, no doubt. Um, they also aired Javon Evans, um, video before this. Which He's is, gonna be a megastar. Yeah, like, bro is fucking insane. I haven't seen the clips of him from an XA level up. He's awesome. Um... He will be, he'll be a top face. In the Mel top Mel face. wore a Killmonger inspired outfit. I was, I was here for it. Bro, looks, he looked great in it. Um, I was here for it. I heard, I saw someone on Twitter say it's Black Panther. I'm like, no, he's wearing gold for a reason. That is not, that is not Black Panther. He's wearing gold, not purple, gold. He's Killmonger. I mean, which is big dumb. Uh, big dub. Indeed. Um, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I think that Stain Deliver was really good. Um, I is it the best NXT show we've had so far? Because we had Vintage, Vintage, right? That we like reacted. No, just all overall NXT like Italy this year. It's only been Vengeance, right? I think uh, did we count the Roadblock? Roadblock's not a PLE. It's just a, a special that's episode. Why I, that's why I asked do we act. It's a special count? episode. You want to? If we count, I'm talking PLE, baby. Is that I, appealing? I, no. No. I, that's why I was asking. This guy. Um, what's better than Vengeance, though? Yes. I think so. Overall. Um, there was no match of the year candidates in this, but I think that a lot of, uh, I think the matches overall, there was no bad one. So, I think it covered its ass pretty well. The next now, one's, so we move. Next one's Battleground, late May. So, yes. Yep. Next up, the midest PLE we've seen in a decade. What? On about it's the midest PLE we've ever seen. I think Caleb's having a stroke. <laughs> That's the goal. Okay, we're we're planning to have a stroke. That's that's the goal here is have a stroke. Night one of WrestleMania. Let's see if I can keep going perfect. Uh, let me get the card out. I know the opening match. The opening match. Was give me a Rhea give me a Ripley. give me a second. No, you should have had this ready. That's night one. That's night two. I need night one. 
Night two's the night I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to tell you right now. No, hmm. I'm not. I know the order. Okay, are you ready now? Yes, I have it. I have it in order now, right. yes. Ma night one, opening match. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch for the w Women's World Championship. Yep, there you go. You had the championship, right? And um, Rhea Ripley continues to be the dominant champion she is. She is... I'm going to spoil the rest of the card. She is now the longest reigning champion in WWE. Which is wild. No, it's not wild because she's fucking the greatest wrestler in all no, WWE but right now. There was, there was one champion that almost was a consensus he's going to retain. <laughs> that did not retain. No, he's not. He was not consensus. Um, I said almost, you fuck. Wow. Don't but... just... Don't test my patience when it comes to that. So we have to talk about it later, so let's, talk, let's get this match out of the way first before we're talking about anything else. And I want to give a round of applause to these two women. Because mm -hmm. you heard what was going on, right? Uh, Real Bully had a two-hour panic attack. A, hour, a panic attack two hours before the show. And Becky Lynch had a 102-degree fever. And strep throat. And strep throat. But no one told me about the fever. People just kept talking about the strep throat. I'm like, you can wrestle with a strep throat. It won't be an issue. 102 degree fever? That's an issue. And do you know what? It's pretty... Was it the best match of the night? Nah. No. People said it was the second was best it... match of the night. I'm like, uh, no. No, it's, it, 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 it's, it's either the second or third worst match of the night. I, I will give you that. I, I, it, big downgrade from uh, last year for Real Play. But, but when you consider the circumstances and everything that was going on, it's fucking incredible. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, I am not someone who has defended Rhea Ripley's matches. That's not been a secret. I have not been the biggest fan of them. I can think of two mat, one match in particular I really bashed. What, what, what match do you really hate? And, and, and it's not her fault at all. What match are you hating on? And that's because she was trying to carry dead weight with Nia Jax. That match wasn't very good. I didn't even said that as well. I just said it was all Rhea Ripley. She was doing her Karenas during that match, though, which was but awesome. I can only think of one great title defense she has all year. In her year ring. Grayson will disagree. I can't see his face right now because his camera's loading for me again, finally. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to hear you. And I think the only great title match mm -hmm. with that title on the line she's had in the last year was last year's Mania. Well, that wasn't her title on the line, so... Like I said with the, a title match with that title on the line. Um, I mean, I don't think she's had any, like, amazing, like, five-star matches. I don't, think that, but, I don't think that's her fault. But, I mean, she's had some good matches. She's had Raquel. She's had solid matches. Raquel, Raquel Zoe. Raquel, right? Zoe Stoke, I think, is the best defense. Ivy Nile. Ivy Nile. That you forgot great. about. Maxine Dupree. Wasn't a great match. That was not a great match. <laughs> it wasn't even a fucking title match. It was not. It was a non-title match. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was a title. It was match. a non-title match. Did uh, they not make? I thought it was a title no, match. No, it's a non-title match. Thank God. Thank God. You forgot about that. Um, I mean, she was great in Nia Jax versus in the Nia Jax match. Nia Rhea Jax Ripley. Match. That was Rhea Ripley's individual best match. Yeah, I would say that's her best performance. Yeah. So. But then she had the worst performance of <laughs> Nia Jax we've had all year. Literally do not sell her Corona at all. I'm like, dude, you have a five foot eight, like a hundred and seventy pound woman doing her Coronas on your ass because Which 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 makes no sense muscle, to have her worst match. Like there, muscle because... mommy like should not be doing her Coronas and Nia Jax is like, Oh, I'm not even gonna sell any of it. So it's it's bizarre to me that that ended up being night that the that's arguably her worst title defense. That's just because Nia is bad. But then she had her best performance in that match too, probably. Yeah. That's just that's Nia Jax for you. <laughs> that, that that is Nia Jax, yeah. So, yes. overall, solid opener. It was solid, yeah. Um, but we both started off one for one. Did you say Rhea Ripley was retaining? I said, oh fuck, no, I did say I said Becky here. Fuck. Also, we weren't counting the state and deliver predictions either. I have to go back and watch them. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'll, we all took over. I'll count them out for a video. I, I have to do all of them so we can get a scoreboard. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it. Okay. I just I'll do the I'll t I'll get minions too. Okay. Um. But so it's one one zero. The next match 
is why I made my comeback, though. Is it? Yes. Because we both knew that the tag titles were getting split. Yeah. Why does this only have one? Okay, Forbes is stupid. Forbes has only one winner on this. Who did they put down as the winner? They put A-Town down as the home. <laughs> okay. So, we the titles, they get split as they should have. Yep, yeah, we, we fully thought they were. A-Town down. One. The SmackDown. SmackDown titles. And in case you don't remember, my pick was A-Town down to win one of the two titles. That's great. I also said Awesome and Truth. I did also. So it's what? Two, 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 two? It is now... Th- it is now 2-2. Two, two. Fuck, dude. Um, that was a great... Oh, awesome match, yeah. Match. A, that was outstanding. Probably the second best match of the night. Probably. I'm looking at them like, yeah, all these are good, but like, second best match. Like, we knew it was going to be a banger. Mm-hmm. It's one of those, some of those teams you throw in, they're going to put on a good match. I that honestly thought they were going to do like a generic tag match, but like, for some reason, but they were like, oh no, we're going to have all 12 of these men just... Go at it. Yeah. Um, Damian Priest almost died during this match because he decided to go up a fucking broken ladder. Yeah. Um, they, were, they were playing around with a broken ladder for way too long to be comfortable with. And people were... Like, AD, AD McDonough died. <laughs> he did. <laughs> they were, they were complaining... I saw people on Twitter complaining that, like, oh, they painted the, the ladders. They painted the ladders for years. Yeah. Like, it, this has always been a thing. Yeah. And you know what? It makes the talent safer. You know, they don't fucking die. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> you can't die. You had an important day the next day. Uh, but it was a great match. And I can't think of one team that did not perform. New Catch Republic. They, they, they started off strong with double moonsaults. Sure. Didn't do anything after that. That was really it. Yeah. What? Uh, New Catch Republic did their thing. Nah, I don't think they did. DIY did their thing with the, probably the best entrance out of anything. DIY kicked ass during this match, too. I don't know what you're talking about. They were great in this match. Um, they should have won. I think they should have won an A title. I like them being in being long term. Maybe. I prefer it that way. They're going to win from Awesome Truth, then. They're going to win it Alpha Backlash. Just do it. Quick they, don't they don't need them. I'm kidding. They deserve them. Yeah, they deserve them. But they had a, a away, re, uh, away re, reunion. Or the yeah. way reunion, whatever it's called. Uh, which was really cute. Because they also had the uh, little, little baby Gargano. Or the Ray. Gargano. Yeah. Can we talk about Pretty Deadly, though? Pretty Dilly should have been in this match. And they had and their pre the they the, had the, the promo. The, the promo. That was fucking amazing. I love that promo and they should have been in this fucking match, dude. Pete Dune. Pete that's not, that's that's his name now. I don't care. Pete Dune. Pete Dune. Uh DIY. DIY they being each other's dads. I uh, yeah. They couldn't hate on our truth. No, they can't. Which is awesome. I I want I want to hear a PLE yes boy. Can I need to hear it. just the yes boy just all around. But no, they they refuse to give it to me. I need my three deadly. They just won't do it. They but deadly needs to win the SmackDown titles. Yeah, definitely. I think. I think they've great, great depends on where they are. In a, depends where they are. They are in a month. They'll be as great as they are right now. They're that great. Not stop pretty deadly. Pretty deadly no. is the greatest tag team of all time. <laughs> the next match mm-hmm. was. I'm trying to hold on. I, I'll get there. I'll get there. It was... I need to look backwards now from that one. So that, 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 and tag. This is probably the most forgettable match. To be. It was Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Dom and Sanchez Escobar. Yep. 
Um, really good match, surprisingly. Was it? I don't think it was that great. It was a good match. I thought it was pretty good. Um, the reason why All Judgment Day came out in purple and red, I don't remember what the what the reason. Was. I remember figuring it out during the stream, but there was a different. There was a reason why they did purple and red. Um, I have zero idea though why. <laughs> I'm blanking on it right now. Um, but uh, Dominic Mysterio had probably the ugliest gear of the weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it looked like he made the red the main thing. It should have been the purple being the main thing, and they had the red be like the, the inner parts of his vest or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it was still just it was a messy weekend. But a lot of people wore yeah. the Eagles green, which was nice to see. Uh, Raymond Stewart straight wore an Eagles head on his uh, pants. Yeah. The desk bar probably wore uh, Eagles green and silver trunks. Yeah. Um,. Oh, the Highlights of the match c- consisted of having the two biggest luchadors we've ever seen. Dude, the the fact that Geek got them immediately. Like, I get Jason Kelsey. Like, guessing Jason Kelsey. I, I thought Jason Kelsey was like Johnson for a second. <laughs> like, I was like, it was one of those, it was one of those, like, all those guys are small. So mm-hmm. I was like, that proportionally could be Jason that proportionally, next to Rey Mysterio, could easily be Jason Kelsey. But Ke- Geek immediately was like, "That's that's Jason Kelsey." I'm like, "Yeah, I, I, the beard and everything like that." He's like, "And that's Lane Johnson." I'm like, "Are you sure? Are you sure that's Lane did- Johnson?" I'm like, "That could have been like Travis. You like go a little bit, you know." It wasn't. <laughs> so I'm I'm happy of who it was. I'm happy. I'm fine with it. Ah. <sighs> They should have announced uh, the next Taylor's version album while they were there. Ready for the next match. What is the next match? The midest match, of the, the worst match of the week- weekend. Well, we should also say that uh, Ray Mysterio still refuses to put over young talent. Hates his son enough where he won't put him over. Can I say this? One of those two people performed for that match. The, wait, uh, what? One of the two people in that match really performed. What are you talking about? I'm talking about deadbeat dad didn't put over his son. Oh. oh, boo-hoo, cry me a river. He should put over his son. Give me Don versus Ray 2. Backlash, I don't give a shit. Give it to me. I need it. Huh? What do you need? Sorry. I need, I Dom, I need Dom versus Ray 2. This was not no. it. This was Santos Escobar no. selling. It was sold. Anyways, you want to move to the next match, I guess? The worst match of the weekend. Which was still an okay match. Yes. I hear people say this is the worst Mania match of all time. Like, no. This was just really mid. It was just... Okay. We knew what it was going to... I think we knew Joaquin what it was going to be. It was going to be super kicks. Maybe a spear. Um, me and my cousin, because uh, I watched the, I watched the weekend with my cousin, grandma, and aunt. Instead of with his, instead of with his co-host, I guess. A, I see them. I see my cousin four times a year. Or you see me fifty-two times a year. Yes, and Actually, he more and than I, next, we record he, <laughs> and he and I were up, ended up starting to talk about some stuff at nine thirty. Mm-hmm. I got home. We stopped at two a.m. because we realized it was two a.m. Mm-hmm. Not because the conversation was over, because it was two a.m. Mm-hmm. and he had to drive home today. Yep. Yeah. I'm realizing my mustache can really go on my thing. I'm just realizing that now. Anyways, um, Jay versus Jimmy Uso. I feel bad for Jay. Why? Because Jay performed. He did perform. Yeah. Jay performed well. They both performed. <laughs> One was just far better than the other. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and that's the reason why people have been hating on Jimmy because he has been the lesser brother over the last few months since Jay left. A lie, and it came out to be true when he was put next to his brother in the match. Um, it's funny because the next night when they had their little skirmish was better than the whole match. Yeah, which is wild. It's. 
it's 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 funny. It it, it should it should have had a stipulation. I think the stipulation would have really helped them out uh, instead. Probably it's actually never mind. I can't say it should have been the one that was a street fight. The street fight actually killed. In a steel cage match. Should have been a steel cage match. We should, have have been, we should at least have it one steel cage or something. one steel cage or one hell in a cell per mania. We need at least one cage match. It was it day. It was a banger. Uh, but we did not have a cage match, and now it was bad. Yeah. We had a bad. No. Sorry, it was okay. It was Dude, solid. It was bearable. Solid. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? That's not, not mid. Mid's minor. 5. It is I'd 5. Take, I'd give it a 6. That's fine. What was after I'd the Usos, my guy? After the Usos. The match of the night. The ne- the uh, the next match. Watched your baby girls losing the six team six women tag match. I love how that's what you call them. <laughs> your baby girls. Yeah. Yes, because you baby them. I love damage control. Yeah, I I do baby them. Yes. <laughs> it was Jake Cargill, Naomi and Bianca Belair beating Damage Control. So um. If you, so there's been two of the thirstiest moments on live streams with CSP. One was during Avengers Day. We've talked about that pa- after that Avengers Day episode. But uh, Caleb was not with us on during Mania that night. But Caleb, uh, not, fuck me, Geek was there. Um, so apparently Geek has a thing for Kari saying, which I can't blame him. Uh, I can. But when, when when Damage Control came out, both me and him were literally staring at the screen. Jaws I, open. <laughs> I need to find it. You need to find the clip. I can get. You, I can get you the clip. It's not that. Bad. It's a little bit that hard. I, I. I. just have to find out when the match was. <laughs> um. I mean. But like, it, it was. It was. I would say the second Thursday is because we spent twenty minutes looking for <laughs> someone on Vengeance Day. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I'm close to where it was in the in the night. Yeah, it, it literally we just we just stared at the screen. No, no, neither of us were talking. Jaws open. Like I know it's my job to talk because it's the Curbstone podcast stream, but like, like sometimes Geek will just kind of just start commenting on random stuff. Both of us just went silent. Jaws open, just staring at the screen. Mine was because of Dakota Kai, because I think Dakota Kai had the best logo all weekend. So I'm I've, I'm already close to it. <laughs> Bro's going through the stream. I'm, at Jimmy, I'm already at Jimmy and Jay. Are are you looking for? Are you looking during WrestleMania or during our stream? Our stream. Okay. Bro, bro's looking for the moment. Yeah. I I can get the clips and put it on on the TikTok or shorts. I can get it. It might it might be a worthy TikTok. It might be. I got to give oh, permission well. for Geek to make sure to, <laughs> to put him on blast. Um. But yeah, it, it it was bad. Uh, yeah, the Kabuki Warriors and Dakota Kai facing once against Jay Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair. Um, Did you see the controversy that came from this match? There's controversy? Oh, because Mark fucking Henry being stupid? It was two seconds of Kari doing her little, like, Ugh! and then leaving. Mark I Henry, understand where he's coming from. He's throwing a fit over nothing. It was two I seconds. I understand where he's coming from. It was two seconds of Kari doing her little thing. No, that, do you? Okay, then what? Then what's she complaining about? He was complaining about her not her being in the ring still for two seconds. I, I, I can understand it, dude. It's two seconds. Give her some time. She's yeah. she's staying in character. But they. But it is also wrestling. It's one of those unwritten rules. Okay, and you know the unwritten rules are the ones they care about the most. Yeah, but like it's they're throwing a fit over nothing. It's, there's no reason to complain about this. It was a, it was a, it was a whatever type thing, you know. There should be no reason that 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 should have ever been a controversy in the first place. Yeah. Uh but Jade Cargo got the pin, uh, on Dakota Kai, which is wild. Which uh, is valid. Should have been Dakota. It should have been Kari. Should have been Oscar. No, we cannot have Oscar go on four. Four on five. Been right again. I really don't want. I Oscar needs her WrestleMania win. It had better happen next year. I swear to God. When she beats Rhea Ripley.
You good? Yeah, sorry, there's something Roman posted on Instagram. Yeah, that's all. And I just saw it. Oh, what, you just saw it? Mm. Big dog. Anyways, um, it was a good match uh, overall. Um, Jade Cargo getting her first WrestleMania win before Asuka did is the well for me. Um, but it works. Was Jade Cargo getting one before? Before Asuka? Yeah. Jade had to win this year. Didn't have to. She could have. Their tag could have lost. Naomi could have no, taken the pin. Have. Naomi could have taken the pin. No, they didn't. But then that ends Bianca's streak as well. It does it. Yes. Does it? Yes. I guess. Like, doesn't. Um. Yeah. Again, fine match. I thought it was fun. Um. It was a lot of good-looking people in the same ring, though. I, yeah. it, it, like they they should never allow that match ever again because it was too, it, like you can't have that much good looking people in the same. It, it shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Oh, uh, what was after this, my guy? The match after this? Yeah. We're skipping. No, we're not. We're, we have to talk about it. No, we don't. We have to talk about it. You, you, I, I'm gonna walk away. I'll give you three minutes, and three then we're minutes. moving on. Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes of play time. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You got to talk about it, bro. You got. This is your therapy. You got to talk about it at some point. I I refuse. You refuse? Do you know? Do you all know how bad it was? That you started you making wanna... up every fucking thing in the, in the fucking book. Just... One of my one of my friends who knows I'm who knows this was gonna stay off his phone all night. Mm-hmm. Got on his phone and texted me asking if I was all right. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I, I, I told my family I was going to sell my phone, but like, I, are you okay? Do you need therapy? I'm like, yes. Uh, because the correct person won that tonight? Sami Zayn. Beat. The Ring General. Gunther. And Gunther's best match he's ever had. I say bye. That was actually a good match. No. Yeah. It was not his best match. It was his best match. It was not his best match. It was absolutely his best match. It was not his best match. It was. It was not his I, best I, match. I, I don't want to hear it. It was his best match. He lost 666 days of his IC reign, which just means that the, the demon, Finn Balor, is going to come after the belt. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Why would else would it end at 666? Because Gunther's going to get it back. Is he the demon? No. Yes, he is now. He's on demon mode. Uh, they have nothing for Gunther. They have nothing. He wasn't even, was he even on TV yesterday? No. Exactly. They have nothing for him. They don't know what to do with him. It's fine. I can start pushing agendas. He needs a belt to do anything with his life. I, well, I can start pushing agendas when we get to night two. You can. It won't be good agendas, but that'll be... I can't start pushing them yet. You can. No, because it spoils night two. It's spoiling night it two. Oh, well. Time to move on. We have nothing more to What was the main night event night. of night one? The main event was Team Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Rest of the Rock and Roman Reigns. In a fucking banger. 45 minutes. A 45 minute banger. Where we're like, oh, it's gonna be like a nice clean match. Nah, The Rock said, if you care, if you DQ, I fire you to the ref. He didn't give a choice. Yeah, it was either you're fired or I win. <laughs> so, Roman, the refs were apologizing to Cody and Seth, like, I'm sorry, dude. He's <laughs> like, I need my job. I need to support need my, my kids. Job. But, didn't have a choice. dude, they went to fucking town. They, that was a fucking great match. Uh, the we, Ro- owe the Rock, we owe the Rock an apology. Yeah, remember we were talking about how he was in a ring shape and everything? Shape. Rowan went for a 45. He was the one who carried that match mostly. Yeah. Just beating the shit out of both Seth and Cody. He he did all of it, bro. Even though no one, there was only, the, and the MVP of Mania was in this match. The Rounds, yeah. Seth Rollins was MVP of Mania. Yeah, absolutely. Started to, with that match where he was fucking Seth Rollins. Cooking, it, cooking, yeah. He's cooked in his first main event. Cooking. 
Um, Cody was Cody. Cody was Cody, yeah. Roman was solid. Solid. <laughs> the Rock was a, was legendary. Mm hmm. For a one time return. One time return? What are you talking about, bro? For a year? He's coming back in SummerSlam. No, apparently the plan's WrestleMania. That's, if that's from Dan Meltzer, I don't believe it. Apparently the plan's Mania. Yeah, it's SummerSlam. I was thinking SummerSlam, but apparently the plan's Mania. If it's from Dave Meltzer, it's not true. That's fair. If it's from Dave Meltzer, I don't believe it. Anything Dave Meltzer says, I don't fucking believe. I don't blame you. Bro's a fucking hack. I don't blame you. Uh, but eventually, after... Basically, not even fighting in the ring. The whole match. Yeah. And Roman and Cody doing the fuck all on the ramp. They were just all being Rock and Seth. Um, eventually, they got Cody in the ring. I believe Roman hit a spear. Tied the Rock in. Yeah. And the Rock decided to do both do, uh... Oh my god. Rock bottom. Rock bottom, thank you. And then the people's elbow. The finish off the night. But the, the you missed the coolest spot. What was the coolest spot? The rock went for rock bottom. Mm hmm And Cody turned it into a Cody cutter. That was really impressive, yeah. It was... <sighs> I hate that this is the best match of the weekend. Probably, uh, second best. Let's say. I yeah. hate that this is the second best match of the weekend. It's not, it was I was... I was fully prepared to come on this weekend and bass the Rock and Roman. I was prepared to too, but uh, it did not happen. <laughs> and then they basically said, yeah, we're going to be in the two best matches of the weekend. And people are saying of all time. Yeah, it's arguable. It's very arguable, but... It's, fuck, dude. These, this match was... It's a banger. It so good. And um, eventually led to Bloodline Blues. Line rules, which made this match. We knew it was gonna happen. We, yeah, we all knew. Well, even in the predictions, we said like this is gonna lead to the most chaotic, overbooked ma mess in the in the world. And you know what it was? We'll talk the about most it. chaotic, overbooked no, mess. No, in no, the world. I, I didn't. No, no, we can't talk about it yet. No. Oh well, the opening match for night one. Mm -hmm. I thought it was over. In, I thought it was over in ten seconds. Um, <laughs> Geek did too. That he literally guessed that that's what was gonna happen. <laughs> I saw the claim one. I'm like, no way they're doing this. It would have been great. I was gonna flip, but then they put on a decent match, a, de a pretty good match. Honestly. I was gonna say that's a fucking great match. Also, what the f was... I don't know what Seth's entrance was, but it was amazing. <laughs> uh, it was, I think it was the second best entrance of the weekend in my. Uh, it was top five. Yeah. Uh, I think I think night two night two. Had the three best, three best entrances. Talk about it. Um, well, the Rock had an awesome entrance in night one as well. That's oh. why it's only said three. Rock yeah. Had a one. Um, Rock probably had the second best one. Excuse me. Um, Drew had a new package look with the CGI because it's usually just the swords, but like now it's got like the flaming stuff and a shield and it's like a snake. I think. Um, just cool. Um, and he got a, he got a, he walked through a bunch of swords. Is the ring that was a decent entrance, um, and led to a banger match that also led to CM Punk interference, which is awesome. Yeah, CM Punk just going to town. I honestly think that I like when CM Punk took off his brace. I'm like, is he fucking healthy? Did he just do this do the John Cena thing where he just split his whole recovery in like half, or like he just went to town on rehab and just recovered the whole time? Yeah. Um, but the moment that CM Punk was almost done beating the shit out, out of Drew McIntyre, we hear <laughs> a certain uh, song start playing. Man, leading to, to a huge pop. And I don't think it was a pop for the guy. I think it was a pop for the thing he was carrying. That's just me. What are you looking for? Huh? What are you looking for? Nothing. Uh, anyways, Damian Priest finally, finally cashed in and completed the heist of the midri. Hey, it was, it was good. It was a good cash, but like, they were trying to create, like, recreate, like, the, 
the heist of the century and it just wasn't it. It was just kind of like, eh. I, I don't hate it. I do. Hate it. But we well, have to give him credit, Drew McIntyre. Mm -hmm. All time great run. No bad match. No bad promo. Mm hmm. No, nothing bad in the chain. And he put, he didn't, he didn't let it get old. It was awesome. Sure. If you, if you say so. It was awesome. Uh, Drew Mector also uh, tweeted during this match. Bored at work, lol. And then, like, two hours after his match. Fuck. <laughs> I tweeted, fuck. Straight up, fuck. It was, I love it. That Zach responded, at Seth Rollins, we can say fuck. <laughs> um, honestly, I think, I, I think that, um, and that, that, that tweet, a board at work, lol, needs to go into, like, one of those pro, like, one of those poorly aged tweets type, uh, pages on Twitter. Yeah. I think it's one of the old timers. Um, oh. but Damian Priest is now your world heavyweight champion after Drew McIntyre beat Seth Rollins, where Seth Rollins was crying, saying, "You deserve this." Yes. And, and then five minutes later, it turns around. Damian Priest like, yeah. is now a champion. Um. So, how do you feel about going from Seth Rollins to Damian Priest? Of all, do we want to do? I. I grew on me. It's grown on me a lot. I still don't like it. Did he watch the press conferences? No, I did not. He had the best one. Did he? Because I think Roman had a pretty good one. He had the best one. I mean, I watched the clips of Roman. Yeah, but Roman's was just clips. Oh, and? They, there's nothing you could clip from Drew's, from Damien's. Okay. Because Damien's was actually, did not, did not stay in character. Wait, he said he was homeless for like, Ten years beforehand, and now he is. He talked about his life story, uh -huh. but he also talked about how um, Seth Rollins made this the Workhorse Championship. Mm -hmm. he talked about how if he could, he would double and triple ten times the amount of matches he had last year. He apparently he led the company in TV televised matches, mm -hmm. and that he wants to do it again with the title and continue the legacy of the Workhorse Championship. Okay, that all sounds great. Which is everything I want. I still don't think Damian Priest is world championship material. But you know what this, this does confirm, though? Hmm. Drew McIntyre still has not signed his contract. Yeah. I think he will soon. I we mean, if, he, if he wants his title back, yeah, he will. <laughs> we have a generational feud on the edge of greatness. Yeah, and Clash of the Castle is not too far away, so... He's going to be here. He, he needs to pay for it. He does. Ooh. Uh, anyway. Next match. What was the next match, Caleb? This was a match we all thought was going to actually be horrible. But I said, when I hopped on for a few minutes, that do not sleep on this match. I slept hardcore. And you were sleeping hardcore on this match. Yep. For Bubba Ray Dudley to be the guest referee. Final Testament versus the Pride. Didn't Bubble Ray get sued recently? I think he did. Yeah, for a lot of for something he said. So I'm I'm not really big on Bubble Ray coming back, but it's whatever. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so Final Testament versus the Pride, Philadelphia Street Fight. Um, both came out with B Fab and Scarlet. Which I immediately called out. There's gonna be a spot. There has to be a spot. That spot led to Scarlet dying. <laughs> she laid on the table for a fucking like, like fifteen twenty minutes. It was. I love this match. Do you? It was. It was okay. It was okay. I. I love this match. Car wreck. I loved it. My question is, where was AOP during it? <laughs> Dead. Because they were not around. It was just carrying Cross to get all of the pride. Because she's built different. I guess so. But like... 
I, it was a good match. I'm not going to say that. You said really good match on Curbs on Twitter, and I was like, really good, really? It was, it was a good match. It was match. really good. It was a good it was match. Really good. No, it, was it was really good. good. It was good. Not really good. It was good. It, it, had, a, it had an iconic moment. What well, kind of moment? The table breaking. Okay. The table breaking before it's supposed That's to be. That's because Bobby didn't set up the table properly. Bobby doesn't know how to set up tables. I, I love that I love that they're like, alright, we have to go get another one. <laughs> yes. And they got another pop for it. Well yeah, we fuck up like that and it's kinda of funny, yeah. Like like I said, it was a good match. I don't think it was a really good match, I think it was just a good match. Um But let's the pride winning. When will the final assessment ever win? Never. Ever? Never ever ever. Getting back together? Never ever ever getting back together. Ooh. You know Taylor Swift. Anyways, um, good match. It was fun. Um, what was next, my guy? You tell the me. Next match was the other non-title match of the night. We had AJ Styles was the other night. Mm-hmm. Which was an okay match. I think it's very mid. I think this has potential to be worse than Jimmy versus Jay. I disagree. I think it was just kind of okay. That was it. Um, LA and I got the win over AJ Styles. AJ Styles does not know how to cook at WrestleMania unless he plays Shane McMahon. Yeah. Or The Undertaker. Like, literally, bro, bro has not had the classic match that we expected from him outside of those two matches. And one of those was pre-recorded, so they had plenty of takes to take from that. Yeah. I really, I like, I think LA Knight just continues to beat the allegations. You said he's, per- I, I saw that tweet, you said he's perfectly fine in the ring. I think being perfectly fine is not enough. He needs to be good in the ring. And he's, he's fucking pushing that at now. He's pushing, he's starting to. I can't think of one match I can say that he has been carried recently. He's been carried? Yes. Probably for Crown Jewel. No, uh, Crown Jewel, he didn't have to get carried. This, he that's what I said. Be, did I not just say yeah. before Crown Jewel? I, 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 I said, I, I, I said I before. I said, I said before. I, I heard four. No, Crown I said yeah, four, which you, if you put that in context, would be before Crown Jewel. All right, uh, but yeah, Ellie and I won. Ellie and I also had a weirdly weird um, situation that happened at the end of the night. We'll talk about. Yeah, just a moment. But uh, um, <clears throat> what was next, my guy? Because I don't think we, we really have any comments besides AJ Styles is cannot cook at Mania. AJ Styles is failing. He he has to have a good match in that eventually at Mania. No. I guess he has to have an AJ Styles match at Mania. He needs to have a uh, SummerSlam versus John Cena type match at Mania. He will event his final one will be his Legacy Mania match. You better hope it is. Even though he retired the Undertaker technically by losing. And what was a great match, but it was also a pre-recorded match. Yeah. You ready for the next match? What's the next match? You tell me. Logan Paul. Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. And what was the comedy match of the night? What was the comedy match of the it, night? It, it was definitely the comedy match of the night. Oh, no, 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 no. It was it was the funniest thing in the world. Um, I mean, starting from like them just jumping Logan to eventually like Kevin and Randy having to figure out who's actually gonna win, and they both win for the pin. Which I thought was fucking hilarious. They both win. I'm like if they pinned him and they rough counted it, who would have won? I have no idea. Like, did they did they just split the U.S. title? Yes, they cut it in half. <laughs> they have a reunification match at Backlash. They, they they have they have to do a triple threat every single time that title's defended. Hmm. Yeah, that's valid. Um, Which, honestly, I wouldn't hate a title that's triple threat only. Um, I would. That that's an AEW type thing to do. Um, I would, I would be, I would watch it. That's 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 an AEW thing to do. I love, I love triple threats. They can do that in AEW. I love triple threats. 
A for the E. Um, like like I said, I think it's, it was a comedy match of the night. Um, they had a bunch of hilarious spots. They was funny as hell. Uh, the Prime Bot got involved this year again. Um, this year was, I thought I thought was a bigger surprise than last year because last year I think everyone kind of realized it was KSI, like off the bat because Prime, you know, partner. Um, I had no idea it was speed. The unveiled speed, and then speed starts barking at Randy Orton of all people. Oh, I love speed. Why would you bark at Randy Orton? Go viral. That's fair. Uh, that wasn't the viral part though. Randy Orton fucking gave him a shotgun power of a kick, knocking off the top of the bottle, and then stripping speed of the bottle. It was. And then hitting RKO and didn't break the did did it break the table? I don't remember it breaking. No. Yeah. So the table did not break. So Speed had to lay there, like basically dead. I'm pretty sure he felt like he was dead after that. <laughs> he posted, "Dude, WWE isn't fake." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Take that RK was fucking great. Um, ruff, 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 ruff. and then um, I was watching Run the North um the night before, and um, he guessed exactly what was going to happen. As in, as in that Logan Paul would steal a pin, <laughs> which he did. Logan Paul. He stole Randy's pin. But can we also keep on giving credit? It's it sucks because we should give him flowers every time he wrestles. Yeah, because he deserves it. I mean, him and Kevin had a amazing spot mm -hmm. where Logan slipped off the top rope, and they turned into an actual fucking move. Mm -hmm. Um, we have. Yeah, we had Logan going from a moon from a swanton to a no to it was a fuck. I'm waiting for you to figure. It out. I can't think of what it's called. To oh. a frog splash. Yep, got a frog splash out there. Uh, which is well, that's his finishing move, isn't it? That's in like not his finishing move. On like punch. His finisher. Nah, I think it's more like a, I mean, it works. I feel like it's more of a signature. His finishers he always finisher. wins off the frog splash. The only time he has the one was with Roman. But I guess he didn't have the one lucky punch until after Roman, because his titan like he didn't get titanium in his hand until. No, he had it against Roman. Did he? Yes, because I remember when he mm. landed the one lucky punch, a, the, there was a huge pop because everyone thought Roman wasn't going to kick out. That's fair. Can you imagine, <laughs> imagine walking into Mania full, 39, as with Logan Paul being your Universal Champion. I would have been down for it. I think that'd be fucking funny as shit. It's Logan is the person I hate. How someone's like, why is it a no? Why so he doesn't watch wrestling? He's like, how do you feel about Logan Paul? I'm like, oh, I love him. It's like really. I'm like, the worst part is he's. In, it's annoying how good he is. He's like, how I'm like, dude. In his third match in the company, he had probably the best match of the year. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I can see how it's. And I'm like, yeah. Since when can you just casually walk into a big multi-billion-dollar company and just casually have the best match of the year? Uh, we will and, when we get and drafted. keep on having viable moments. We will when we get drafted. Yeah, on, on uh, the the month. I want to do a petition for two prime bottles next year, with, with me and Caleb as the prime bottles. <laughs> Dubs. I'll go fucking frog splash or whatever. Who, who do you think Logan's facing next year? A mania. Yeah, I know it's a year long wait, but like. Well, I think SummerSlam will be the Miz. Makes sense. I think that'll be SummerSlam. Uh huh. I think Mania. Hear me out. That we finally no, get LA Knight. No, that doesn't, that doesn't. No, wait. Never mind. LA Knight's gonna be SummerSlam. Okay. I don't know. There's only there's only one Mania match I have like I hey, that's the match I want. Hey, I'll take a BFT from LA Knight. I'm fine by that. I there's one Mania match I know I want, and I can talk about it right now even. Gunther Richie Twitch. Nope, nope, not Gunther's not in this match. Gunther's missing Mania next year. You heard it here first, guys. No, he's not in the one match I have booked. You heard it here first. Gunther is not hitting Mania no, next year. He's gonna be at Mania. No, you said he wasn't. You said he's not getting the match. Oh, 
Oh. Going into the best match of the night. Well, I have to know. You don't want to hear my agenda? Sure, go ahead. What's your agenda, my guy? Next year. And this is a fully booked process. Bro, bro, whoever bro, holds all the, mania. Who no, whoever holds the IC championship from now till chamber can have it. I don't give a fuck who it is. Okay. At chamber, we get a new Grand Slam champion. When and you're gonna fucking hate when I say this. Lesnar wins the IC title inside the chamber. Question. Question. Yeah. Brock doesn't have a US. Yes, he does. No, he does not. I thought I could have sworn he has. No, US. he only has world championships. He doesn't have a tag championship either. So, um, oh. he's get, no, he's far, far away from that. <laughs> we get we get him to have the IC title then, or US. It doesn't matter which one he has. You only have Brock Lesnar yeah. mid card titles, I mean. Well, and then you have him be a dog. Then he'll work full. He'll work Logan Paul full time. Show up for every TV taping from Chamber to Mania. As we develop the feud that is going to be for the title. Back to the IC title. So Bro's not even going for the World Championship anymore. Bro. No. The match at Mania. You ready? And you're going to be and you're going to be here for it. And Gunther really think he Actually, no. Him. Never mind. He doesn't have the title. It doesn't actually it doesn't matter who has the title in here. It depends on how you want to do it. It'll probably be Brock. Sure. Brock Lesnar defends his world title. Is not his world title. He's mid card title. It's his mid card title. Being a dominant champion during the time he's champ. Maybe having one or two TV matches. Even though it's Brock. Braun Breaker. No. What? No. What? No. What? No. You start a bra- you, you know you know you do. You start Braun Breaker off the war title. The war title. The war title. Oh. No, you no, and then you let him be the IC champion for like seven hundred days. No, because you know what's gonna happen. Huh. We'll talk about it a little bit, but like the draft happens later this month. He gets drafted to Raw. Right. Damian Priest Judgment Day stays in Raw. Right. One random Raw in like middle of like June or July. Damian Priest gives an open challenge. He's like, I'm bored. Everyone, no one can face me. I'm, I'm too good. Whatever. He does the whole spiel. Raw break comes out. Spear, one, two, three, all done. Your next World Heavyweight Championship. He's already had a World Heavyweight Championship shot against Seth Rollins at Gold Rush. Let's do it again. And have him win no. this time. Braun Breaker is your new World Heavyweight Champion. Let him start off with a mid card. Nope. Yes. I don't want it. He... Nope. Give me the World Championship immediately. Have my guy be barking all the way to Mania with the World Heavyweight Championship. Give him the mid card. Have make him the biggest star in the world. <laughs> Survivor Series Braun Breaker versus Cody Rhodes. No. Seth that'll Rollins Cody, versus Roman Reigns. That'll be, that'll be Cody Rhodes and whoever's holding that title by then. Against whoever's holding the title on the opposing brand. Hmm? They'll go back. I think with brand split again, they'll go back. They'll go back to a pseudo Survivor Series. Or they'll just do War Games Raw versus SmackDown. Or they'll do Raw, War Games Raw versus SmackDown. Because they are, it feels like they are building the um, Raw versus SmackDown rivalry again. I think so. I think so. Anyways, you think it is the best match of the night? The second, not the best match of the night. You mean? Uh, you mean, it is the best match of the night. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Get out of here with that. The best match of the night. Best match Yo, of both Mr. nights. Bailey was not the best match it's of the night. It's the best match that. of no, both stop nights. Stop it. Stop it. It's the best match of the year. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. No. See, no. See, friends, this is, what no! this is what happens when your champion loses and you now have to cope. Now the other one can push the buttons. No. It, you, you know it's not the best match of the night. It is. Not. It is. Not. Best storytelling, too. No. Yeah. No. I love fucking with Caleb. Remember how you said, oh, yeah, I'd give you an aneurysm? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm having an aneurysm. 
You even know what an aneurysm is? I don't know, and I'm fuck, but I'm fucking having it. <laughs> <laughs> Bia, Bia, Bailey versus Eo, the worst women's match of the weekend. Fuck you. It's not. That was the worst. There, there was, I can tell you what the worst women's match of the weekend was. It's a, yeah, a, 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 a bad. No. No, it ain't even that bad. No. EO versus Bailey is really. I can tell you the worst one special of, of the weekend, and you'll be, you'll be surprised. Please say it. Please say what I'm thinking. Rio versus Becky was the worst match. Of the worst ones match of the weekend wasn't bad, just the worst one. I've never been proud of the duck. It wasn't bad. It's just the worst one. I I, I want to get that clear. I want to make sure everyone knows it wasn't bad. It was just the worst one. Anyways, um, he's hating on it. Uh, Bailey versus Eo Sky. Pretty good match. Pretty good match, yeah. You were saying Pretty better, good. better. You were saying like this is like should have been a main event. No. No. Wasn't that good? It's pretty good. Not that good. Um, uh, like okay. this isn't a Charlotte versus this isn't Charlotte versus Rhea where it should have been the main event where like they kicked ass and there was no. I mean, the woman should get a main event. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this match, in quality wise, wasn't shouldn't have been a main event. With 2020 vision looking backwards, no. Uh, but Bailey is your new WWE Women's Champion. Women's Heavyweight Champion. No, that's not that's not what it is. Is it a World and Heavyweight? It's it's there's a there's the Women's World Champion, which is Rhea Ripley. There's a WWE Women's Champion, which is oh. Bailey. Oh well. Um, also, we didn't talk about this during the Rhea match. Uh, Rhea has officially pinned all four World Horsewomen now. Oh, yeah. Which is actually not as exclusive as a club as we thought. I found that out. I don't give a fuck. She still pinned the four greatest women in wrestling history. Do you know who else has? Alexa Bliss. Tamina. Tamina. Well, yeah, but t- you know what else Tamina do- has done? She worked during, bol- during their primes, so it doesn't matter. That was during, like, other stuff. Hold on. Uh huh. Bro's looking up stuff. Is bro looking up who all the people who interfered? No, I know, I know that. Do you? You know, you know who else did? Has also. Paige. Okay, Paige is also one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time. Okay, I have the I am pulling up the list right now. Oh, you're pulling the list of everyone who's pinned all four horsemen. Okay. Yeah. If my phone will load it. Okay. Oscar, makes sense. Again, one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time. Bliss, who? The uh, Alexa, makes sense. She was really good during the mid two thousand tens. Bianca Belair, makes sense. But one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time, or on track to be. No, wait. What the fuck? The mind. The list is a lot shorter. No, but that was three who have three current who have and three current who are close. Oh, look at that. So what? There's three women who have? No, there's more than that. Okay. I was looking hardcore. Emma. Okay, Emma was really good, though, for a while. Then she got released twice. Yeah. The point is, there's a decent list. Yeah, it's still an exclusive club, though. And, and the signifier of your greatness. Because Emma was really good at one point in time. Was she ever going to be like the top woman? Never. But it's still re- you can be really good and add that. I also want to give pro- want to give props to Triple H though. He made two of the greatest groups of all time. Group groupings of wrestlers that now like are the the signifier of this generation of wrestling. The shield, shield and the four horsewomen are both like the signifier of the two of the twenty tens to the to the mid to the mid twenty twenties. We are starting to become around the mid twenty twenties now. God we're old. The final match of the weekend. Caleb. Huh? What's the final match of the weekend? 
Gunther versus Roman Reigns for the Universal title, which Gunther won in five seconds. And that's crazy, because Bro was playing Universal mode last night. <laughs> At 2 a.m. <laughs> um, it was Gunther. It was Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. Um, Cody Rhodes came out to an awesome entrance. Uh, a reference to Triple H at WrestleMania 30. Oh, so do we want to talk? How do we want to approach this match? Because it's not your typical. Match. I want to talk about the entrance first, my guy. They both had legendary entrances. No, we no, they did not. No, they did not. Cody Rhodes. Did not have a... Cody Rhodes came out to a Triple H reference, uh, which is awesome. Mask made by the same guy who made the Fiend mask. And his wife came yes. out. Yes, right. which is three dubs. Triple, uh, and Roman Reigns had a better entrance last year. The best? Well, I want to talk about Cody's entrance. Okay. All weekend, Philadelphia had been horrible. Oh, yeah. Night one, they were terrible. And they were like, they hey, were, we were cool. I'm like, it's 50 degrees out. Horrible. The well we got night two. We got like two O's. Might have picked up. For the slack. Yeah. They heard that our... Was, they that heard, was the best role we have heard. They heard our criticism. They're like... They, they heard... And they're like, we're beating the allegations. And put up two damn woes that were legendary. Two great woes, yeah. Those were amazing woes. Hmm? We think... think we, we After night one, we're like... They're never going back to Philly for WrestleMania. No, they're never going back to Philly, period. <laughs> but then... Then night two happened. And it felt like 72,000 people were screaming, whoa. Yeah. Uh, wow that this WrestleMania had less attendance than the last one. Yeah, and that was, and this one was probably better. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. Both of them. I would agree. It was... It was awesome. It was indeed awesome. Awesome, so awesome. Uh, but Roman Reigns had a, a weak entrance. Last year it was pianos, and it sounded like he was. You're walking into the final dungeon of a video game. And this one kind of just felt like, all right, here here's a cool cutscene. Here's an <laughs> epic cutscene, but no, this I don't think Roman's entrance was anything special. And also, Bro didn't even like bring out new gear. Like you could have made awesome gear, and just decided not to. I thought it was a weak sauce entrance. Um, but the ma- the match kicked off for like twenty good minutes, like no issues. It was so a me clean and my match. Set the line at eight twenty our time, so ten twenty Eastern. Mm-hmm. Of when would shit start to go crazy? Yeah, it was like eight twenty two. <laughs> yes, I said great lines for wrestling. Yeah, but <laughs> I also set the line for that match at fifty five minutes. What did it actually hit? Like 33. Really? Yeah. I felt a lot longer than that. It was 33 minutes. Well, so we set that as a line because we thought it would be interruptions, five minutes of wrestling. Interruptions, five minutes of wrestling. Not everything happens in seven minutes. Yeah, like, like I was saying, it was like 20 minutes of actual, like, really, really good wrestling. Awesome wrestling. <laughs> there was a great line by Roman Reigns when, when he hit the crossroads on, on Cody. Like, I knew that move sucked. No one ever, no one ever wins off of that. <laughs> uh, I love Roman Reigns' in-ring dialogue. It's one of the greatest things you'll hear in a wrestling match. Um, I, I also heard from some of my friends who don't watch wrestling that their that their friends were watching wrestling. They came over and they sat down. And they're like, "Oh my god, they like wrestling's cool." I'm like, "Yeah, bro. Yeah, wrestling's awesome." Um. I, I, you saw the tweet, and I think everyone in the wrestling community replied to this tweet. It was, y'all know this shit's scripted, right? Dude, yeah. And it felt like all WWE fans commented, do you like movies and TV shows? <laughs> there was also, I saw like one of the tweets under it was like, you can't be doing this during WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. And, and my friend, do you, you know who Kira is on Twitter, right? Uh, I think so. He even posted his like, Duvo. You said no. This is like this is like a movie to them. This is the Super Bowl for for us. <laughs> like, don't don't. There's there's any other time of the year you can say it and not get jumped immediately by a thousand people. They'll be like, okay, whatever. But this is WrestleMania. It's on. It's on site. <laughs> it's on site. Yeah. But so you know, we were having a calm match. We knew it wasn't going to stay calm. No. Nah. It was both. It was blood rules. 
We thought I, I thought Cody had it one foot. We knew Cody. There's one point Cody had a roll, but I'm like, Cody, you know, we're we gonna have a clean match. Jimmy super kick. Yeah, no, nah, never gonna happen. Never gonna happen, then, Roman. No, and then you know we get to we go a minute of them, you know, fucking up Cody. You yes! day one. <laughs> Jim J J comes out. Um, they and then Jay gets Jimmy all the way on the rope at on the rope on the ramp and fucking spears him off into. Off the fucking ramp. Insane spot. Never see them again. Yep. And Jimmy and Jay are out of the equation for the match. Yeah, which is wild. That's... But that was their best match of the weekend. It was. <laughs> it was. And then, so I, I, I'm getting hyped just reimagining this. Mm-hmm. And then once again, we go back to like two minutes of wrestling. Solo comes out. Mm-hmm. And Solo's like, yeah, fuck you. Samoa Spike. And then he, then he, he's yelling at Roman to get the pin, and Roman's taking his sweet ass time. He's like, "Finish his story, Roman. I know, I know." So give me some time. Oh, this fuck. <laughs> and so starts and dragging then do, Roman. Then they, then they do the spear Samoan spike combo. Mm-hmm. Cody kicks out. Mm-hmm. Co- Solo, Cody, he, Cody prepared for it through Brock Lesnar. He prepared for this. Solo, Solo was getting ready to end the shit, and then you heard trumpets. <laughs> We're bad. That sucked. Hi, bud. And um, we watched John Cena come out and deal with Solo. Put him through the Spanish announce table. So we knew that we. I think all of us knew that John Cena was going to come out probably around the time Solo came out. the The issue was that he said he wasn't doing anything super physical. Bro, did a fucking AA. <laughs> One of the most physically I, totally I, moves. I think he was referring to bumps. That's fair. Because I was thought, cause it's not that much weight if people aren't going to aren't, aren't free, aren't free rating it. That's fair. Um, so it's only been like a 300 pound lift. But didn't he turn, did, did he not, not AA solo through the, through the announce table? Yeah. Um, I'm like, dude, bro does not give a fuck. He's like, Peacemaker can wait. It's WrestleMania 40, bitch. <laughs> oh, it, I, that, that was amazing. And then. The Rock comes out. Then we fit the final boss, and it's like, oh shit. You can see John Cena. Cena Rock. Cena, Cena, Cena Rock again. Thrice the lifetime. Cena's fucking pissing his pants. Yeah. Because the final and, boss rock is something different. And Cena goes to the punch. Rock bottom. Cena's out of the equation. Mm-hmm. He grabs the belt, and he's about to whip Cody. Cody. Yeah. Cheer. Hotel. Echo. Delta. Lima. Something else. Okay. Shield. They didn't show. Well, Lima is the L, dumbass. There's no something else between that. It's, it's, it's Delta right after that. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Every wrestling fan in the world. Well, because they weren't fun. showing you who the, who the fuck was coming out. We all were like, why would they hide it unless it was was Dean? So so everyone was like wrestling. Con- someone's like wrestling contracts are exist, dude. But everyone's like, dude. At that moment, we all forgot. <laughs> My dumbass. This Friday. There's a there's the Windy City Riot, which is a New Japan thing going on. John Moxley's fucking made of it, and I still thought, bro, it was fucking coming out. <laughs> yeah, it was it was hilarious. All common sense got thrown out the window. We thought that they they made a dirty deal or something like that. This was the most beautiful part of the match. Um, part of it. Well, Roman runs in, Superman punches Seth before he can hit Brock with a chair, hmm? and then you know Bo. Roman and Seth are both out of it for a minute. Mm-hmm. The Rock's yeah. still getting this shit together. And then, and then we're like, Cody, I'm sorry. And then we're all expecting the glass to shatter. Yeah. And then we just hear the fucking gong. Amazing, <laughs> bro. Bro's not even in like an outfit. He's literally just in his street clothes. <laughs> yes. Did you see the video of him leaving? Yeah, and we were like, this just like takes away the ma- like the magic of the Undertaker. I'm like, dude, this is American Badass Taker. This is not this isn't Dead Man or Ministry of Darkness Taker. This is this is American this, Badass. I this is not American Badass. This is just fucking Undertaker. This is retired American Badass. <laughs> this is Undertaker being bored. <laughs> He's like, guys at home. He might as well come out. Man, I haven't been at Mania in a few years. I'ma go help Cody. Yeah. And violates Cody. I mean, violates Roman, The Rock. The Rock looked terrified. It's the first time, like, the final boss Rock has looked terrified. And that that, that means a lot. It's true. Well. No, it's, it's the scariest man in wrestling history. Yeah. 
You're not getting by him. No. Bro gets fucking chokeslam through the basically through the fucking mat, and then the lights go out again. You hear the dong, the gong again, uh, and then the rock gets vanishes. Yeah. Bro got dragged to hell. Someone posted a video of Joe Swanson getting dragged away by Ghost and Family Guys, like Undertaker to the Rock. <laughs> the Rock was outside the ring, but it, like you, w- we didn't see him for like minutes. Well, my, my favorite thing is someone posted a video of him running out to backstage, mm-hmm. and people like delete this, and I'm like, dude, it's so funny because he looks like he just got out of the ring and still pissed off. <laughs> he had, he didn't have a smile on his face. It was the <laughs> mean character, bro. It was like, fuck, I'm old, but I have to get there. Uh, this is for Roman getting up and picking up the chair, and he has two options. Hit Cody Rhodes and win the match. Or hit Seth Rollins. Or hit Seth Rollins. And complete his story. And Roman chose, and Roman chose Seth. Which led to a triple crossroads. One, two, two three. three. Story but- is finished. And the story, the story we were following wasn't even the best story of the match. What do you mean? We can date back the ending of this match to January 2022. That's Royal Rumble 22? That's Royal Rumble 22 with Cody and with Seth vs. Roman. Okay, yeah, okay. You can date it back to there when Seth came out in the shield gear. And there was the you first can date it back ever. to 2014, my guy. <laughs> You can date it back all the way then, yeah, too. But you can you can date the this this in this span because you yeah obviously that's gonna always be link, linking them. Yeah. But of Cody of Seth realizing he still is holding on to that. Yeah. Is that that match Roman lost to Seth via DQ. Mm-hmm. So he kept this title, but Seth won. Yep. Yeah. And then it's no one else is uniquely fitted to be a shield against the bloodline. Yeah. We saw it because he was literally Cody's shield. Yep. Uh, also, he, Cody's gear, the first night, it had Seth's um, logo per, like over Cody's. So it was literally a shield. Yeah. Um, it was cinema. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think Hunter posted the script just for the match. It was a good thick script. Like he had a movie script basically set out for that match. Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean I don't know how much more we can talk about how developed this match was. Um I mean it was like it might be one of the best best like people people were talking about how the rock the the tag match night one might have been the one of the best matches of all time. And honestly, I think Night 2 definitely has a good argument for it. It was overbooked, yes, but it was overbooked perfectly. Like, it wasn't like where it was like all throughout the match, we're expecting. It, was, it had a nice chunk of interruption, but it was like that, that tied up so many stories. There was the Rock Cena storyline there. There was the Cena a solo storyline. There was the brother. There was a brotherly feud with the, the Usos. And even. even um, even the Undertaker coming in to save Cody because Paul Heyman fucked him out of a out of his first out of his win against Brock. Yeah, and then Roman beat the Undertaker, so he's coming back to avenge his uh, uh, avenge his WrestleMania losses. There's a lot of stories going on there. Yeah, it, it just tied up neatly. And uh, and people are talking about this. This feels like a season or a series finale. We're like, yeah. it, every story is kind of just fixed. And and you know, you know what's gonna happen after this? I know what I know what's gonna happen. Hmm. People are gonna start compl- comparing this to the MCU after Endgame. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be so sick if people try to push that agenda. Leave it alone. It was great. And we're just moving on to the next. We're not even moving on to the next chapter. We're moving on to the next story. And it could be a better one. They said they 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 cooked that they, they they cooked. They said that Roman's next story will blow people's minds, and I have every reason to believe them. They they I, give me notice not to. They have not, and it's gonna be interesting to Cody see, see Cody be champion, see where that goes. Does it become more of an obsession, where he 
wants to hold on to the title as long as possible? Or is he wanting to be a fighting champion like Seth was? Imagine us having two fighting champions. It's going to be crazy. It'll be legendary. Uh, I, <coughs> from undesirable. And here's, and here's the crazy thing. In one week, we're going to be having more compliments for this match, too. It's going to be some hidden detail we didn't notice at first. It's mm. going to be something we didn't see. Next. Then, like, next episode, we're going to be talking about it again. Next. And then in two weeks, another mention of it. Next. Get to SummerSlam and whatever he's doing. We're going to be talking about the match again. Hmm. That's what I really it's... appreciate with the Triple H era. Like... He doesn't, like, just end stories. He continues to add on to them throughout the next story. Yeah. Hold up. I'm sending you the... Road Road Road. Road, I think. Gunther and... Wait, what? Of him running out, running away. I saw that. You see me on Twitter? Or... On Twitter. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious to me. Uh, shouldn't be as hilarious. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Raw after Mania. Someone tried to say it was lackluster. Um, I went to the movies during it, so... <laughs> I did. Crazy. I went to go see a very mid-movie last night. <laughs> crazy to me. You're crazy. Crazy. Yeah. I was crazy once. Um, I... The show opened with a 45 minute segment between Rock and Cody. Which kind of pissed me off. Why? It bumped Jade. It almost, it almost bumped Jade in Chelsea. Yeah, but we got it anyways. It was fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yep. As we all thought, as we all knew it would be. Um, we, get, we got to see an amazing moment between them. Mm hmm. We got to see the, I, I, I'll be honest here, my eyes got a little wet watching the, the video they made for Cody. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. I got a little moist in the eyes. A little, you got a little wet in the, out there? I got a little moist in the eyes. You got a little wet? A little wet. It was beautifully made. <laughs> it was. It was great. By every aspect. Mm-hmm. Um... I then looked towards, you know, that segment entirely was great. The crowd, just the crowd, was the crowd. Crowd took over. It was finally good at the worst moment. <laughs> yeah. um, they announced the draft. They, they, they were talking about the draft a while ago. Like, Triple H is like, it's going to be like a month or two. It's, and it's at the end of this month. Is the 26th and the 29th uh, the corresponding SmackDown and Raw's? Uh, well, how do you feel about that, my guy? How do you feel about our draft happening? I fucking love it. I, I enjoy it. I think we should have yearly drafts. I love I. You do not let me cook. You have cooking up an idea for that. You're trying to cook up an idea for the draft? Yes. All right, hear me out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cook. cook. No, I'm, I'll, I'll message it to you when I've developed. He hasn't even cooked fully. He, he is just starting to simmer right now. He is doing yes. this simmer of, on the on the sauce. I am I am simmering up this idea. Does, does it have to do with the, with the, this man? Uh, your camera doesn't work for me. Oh. I think you're enough. I, I, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. We're not. <laughs> we all know that when it comes. When it comes, when it goes. Just know I have an idea of cooking in my brain. What else happened last night? I don't remember very much of it because I fell asleep halfway So we had the segment and then the opening match was Shinsuke Nakamura against a main roster debuting Ilya Jagunov. So uh, mid and mid. I love it. It, it was mid. I mean, I mean Shinsuke is mid. I'm going to be real. Not made. Or should we know we're near the top of the card? Um, but yeah, Ilya Dragunov went off an H bomb. 
Yes. As he should. And it's actually not his it's not his move anymore. It's Big K on UKWs. Ah. Uh, better I'm the better person. We love it. Um What else happened? I don't remember what order it happened in. I'm gonna be real. Next was another segment, which was legendary. I mean, uh, the champions, Leo Ripley and Damian Priest, came out. And were our truth. And then talked about how they run WWE. And they do. I am also realizing just now that Rhea has a smaller championship. Yes. Didn't think I thought they were the same size. I literally thought they were yeah. just a a belt swap. Like like a strap swap. Strap strap swap. I cannot speak. Holy shit. No, it's just they're different. They're small. The women just are smaller. I did, but I didn't realize that. I thought they were the same size. Nope, smaller. Same. Um, but that's the first time I realized because they're they, that's the first thing they've ever been right next to each other. So, yep, we we compared because I have my cousin has the women's world championship. Oh, I want that so badly. If I had her bucks, it's too. And expensive. I and I and I have the world heavyweight. I will tell you right now, if I ever get the women's, it's taking this place. <laughs> <laughs> and we compared to sizes, and it was smaller. You compared sizes? Yes, that's it was, crazy. His was smaller than my, his was smaller than mine. <laughs> I've been in shipping, that's the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, and then, and then the, you know, they're holding up the titles. And then what I thought should be, think should be the thumbnail of the video. No, it should not. Arch with Top did, and we had all three members of Judgment Day holding up their titles. Is it wild to say that Judgment Day actually upgraded over WrestleMania weekend? Yes, it's not. Because, like, they lost the tag titles, which are, whatever, the tag titles, but they gained the World Heavyweight Championship. Remember when we were, all, when we were saying everyone's going to lose their their belts? Nope. Only one person did. And that being Finn Balor. That's going to be the first feud, I believe. I mean, not the first match, obviously. We already know what the first match is going to be uh, for Damian Priest, but I believe it's going to be the first feud. Except maybe Drew McIntyre. What do you think? I think eventually. Eventually? Eventually. When Finn Balor wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. <laughs> Imagine Finn Balor wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. It's, to me, I think, and you're going you're gonna to boo me here. Boo, my boo. Because I can, so I can push my agenda. Uh-huh. Backlash? Uh-huh. We know that. Do we? Yes, it's Jay. No, Jay is next week. It's next week? It's next week. That was for next week. Sh- it's for next week. I'm pretty sure. There's been no confirmed matches for Backlash. Okay, if it's for next week, it's next week. I don't think well, there's been any confirmed matches for Backlash. You can double check that, but I'm pretty sure. There I want to say that was for... Backlash. God damn it, I'm opening WWE Twitter. Good yeah, idea. Yeah. Because they would have posted that it was for next week. I'm pretty sure it's for next week's Raw. I doubt we're getting two title matches, though. Who's the game title match next week? Uh, Chad Gable. Uh, you'd be surprised. Raw in this new era is going to be fucking goaded. The next week? Bro. I want to say it was the backlash. It's not for backlash. It's for next week. I swear to God. Ooh, what's announced for tonight? Uh, Izzy and Keanu James will take on Fallon Henley. Unless it's just the the tag match for that. First. Ooh, the uh, Wolf Dogs are facing Nathan Nathan Frazier and Axiom. I'm just saying these things to like, fill in time. I'm gonna be real. Oh, it's Bianca Belair's birthday. I need to post that. Just for the number one contender, not win the matches. Never seven the matches. I swear. Give me a second. I'll figure it out. 
Uh, Ricochet said, I'm sorry to Samantha Irvin. <laughs> it's, yeah, but we, we'll get to that match when we get there. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, you, you, I've been, you have the order. And then it. the neck, the, and then it followed up with a, what we thought was going to be a three on two handicapped match mm-hmm. between Judgment Day minus Damian Priest, which is tr- awesome truth. Yep. But then Truth said he had that um he had his uh, his uh, invisible friend that he had his invisible friend who obviously they were referring to Little Jimmy mm-hmm. was going to be at the match in the match with them. Right. But then there was a three on two handicap to start. Yeah. And then out of nowhere we have ba ba da ba 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 da ba and John Cena runs out, gets tagged in, and they quickly win the match. Oh, they. They Which felt good for R Truth being with his childhood hero the being. Mm-hmm. They did not give us the time. R Truth on Monday said it was so he remembers as a kid sitting in front of his TV on Sundays watching John Cena do them open challenges. Um, does this mean that John Cena's streak's over? No. His drought? Or the no, singles matches. Oh. Yeah, singles matches. Mm, damn. That singles match drought is killer. It is insane. But he got his match in for the year. I mean, technically, could you count WrestleMania 49 being not 49? That's nine years ahead of time. 40 being his singles match. No, but he has had a match every year for the last 22, 22 years. years now. Yeah. No, and I, that was his match. Yeah, I guess he fills in this quota. He says he wants. He says around November, or whatever December, he, December that he wants to come he's back and fully, do an actual. He's fully, he's fully booked till December. But towards the end of December, he comes to come back for one more full run. Yeah. Which is going to probably be a World Championship run. It's, I think it'll be a just get to Mania, put on a good Mania match. When the, when it's Braun Breaker. Or. Versus, or he's, he's glitched right now. Just go TV, change the title. If he loses, he just loses the title. But if Cena and or let Cena, Lesnar loses, they're forced to retire. I didn't hear half of that. I'm just saying, uh, John Cena should win the IC title because that's his last title he needs to become Grand, Grand Slam. Let him win the Chamber and do great good versus Cena at, Chamber, at Mania. For the IC title. For the IC title. All right, cool. I can go with that. Let Braun Breaker retire Cena. Great person to retire him. Um, I can't think about it. I think the only other person to retire him would be Randy. That's the other thing. It should probably be Randy. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my opinion. He says he's very very close. Like he says that he's he said he was close on Apollo of like a like half a year ago. He said he thinks this will be his final run ever. Yeah, which means he might have like one match ever after that. But he might have like an Undertaker role where it's just like he pops up from time to time. Yeah. So um, John Cena face. The Judgment Day, essentially. Uh, um, and then we get to see, um, fuck, the next segment was Sami Zayn. Fa- yes. And they confirmed a uh, Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable next week. Not with that segment. Not with that segment. Never, okay, never mind. Never that mind. segment was interrupted by imp- by Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni da Vin- Vinci. Ooh, can't really even show up. You know, then they're about to attack Sami Zayn. Gable comes out, helps Sami. Two on two tag mats. Sam Gun ta- Gad t- Gad Table. Chad Gad Gable. There you go. <laughs> Chad Gable pins. Got the pinfall with victory. Mm-hmm. Blah 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 blah. Backstage segment. Yep. Yeah. Of um, Sami wanting to talk to Chad Gable for a second. He's like, Chad, you know, I want to say thank you for the last few weeks, and I think we became even tonight. Because I handed you that win via on a silver platter. Yes. And Chad Gable's like, no, 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 no. But he said, Sammy's like, I'm kidding. I know you want this, and he's holding up the IC title. Yeah. So next week, they and Sammy's giving him a match next week for it. That's going to be a solid match. Sammy's going to retain, though. Yeah. Put that up for backlash. There you go. There's your backlash, man. Gunther versus Chad Gable versus 
Sami Zayn backlash. Well, backlash is in France. Does does is Gunther's visa fixed? I don't give a fuck. He's going. He's just gonna get arrested. Okay. Yes. So that never he's allowed. Gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna chop the cops and leave. Never allowed in the U.S. ever again. He's gonna chop the cops, come back to the U.S. and get comfortable. <laughs> um. Oh, I, forgot, I missed the match. I think. I think you missed Liv Morgan attacking the fuck uh, out, missed... out of Rhea Ripley. <laughs> I yeah, it was it was, yeah, but that's that match, and then it went to <laughs> Liv Morgan throwing the chair. Dude, she just missed Rhea's head, but like it was like with full power. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. It was great. Uh, she beat the shit out of Rhea Ripley, which is great. Like we're back, we're back, in, we're back in, the, we're back in the agenda. Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley. We back. Um, but Dominic Mysterio was trying to help Rhea Ripley up because you know. He's, he's doing right by mommy. And it had an awesome fucking shot of Dominic tossing the camera to the side and they go straight to the match. Which I don't, I think that was the Chelsea versus Jay match. I'm not sure. Yeah. Or it's the Roxanne match, either one. We'll talk about that in just a second. Yeah. What was next? Next was the I missed the one I missed that came out of that segment was um we got our good old friend Indy Hartwell in the ring. Dope, oh, Indy's great. And she faced someone who's mid. You know, you can go fuck yourself. Just just go fuck yourself, man. And we watched our friend. Maxine, Ma- Roxanne Perez. I love that both NXT champions came out. Yes. And she had her her debut on. Yeah, someone was like, I can't take her seriously as a heel. I'm like, dude, she's excited to be on Raw. Give her a fucking break. 22 years old. Yeah. Leave her alone. <laughs> See, and she was good. She was great. She carried the match. She did. Um, But it also has a little bit of NXT storylines involved in it because Indy was the one who won the NXT Championship off of Roxanne during a tag. It was like a six-woman tag match. Uh, not six-woman tag. Six-woman ladder match. Um, back, like, I think August last year. Like that. Yeah. Um, or before that, probably. Um, so, yeah. There's a little bit of storylines in there. But Roxanne got the win. So, be happy. We move. She's going to be probably in the draft as well. If Ilya Dragunov is also in the draft. So, here's the thing. It was announced that Ilya has declared for the draft. Yeah, I don't know how, how you can declare for a draft when you're they in. Didn't, <laughs> they didn't announce Roxanne was declared. Yeah, but if it makes sense if Ilya is declared, that Roxanne is declared. It's probably going to declare. It's, I'm just telling you, that's what it happened. Even I, WWE, I, I know. WWE I know, himself even I know, tweeted I know. that he was announced. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, that's what happened. Um, what a close up the name. Um, the ending match was the fatal four way. The fatal four way. Where we talked about it a bit. You, know, you don't want to talk about when your favorite favorite boys went back? Oh, wow, Seamus is coming back? Yeah, Seamus is coming back. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll wait. I'll, I want to see it first. I, I don't really care. <laughs> Get your no. Like, I care, but I don't care. Um, yeah, Jay Gar- before the fail for it, Jade Cargill uh, squashed the fuck out of Chelsea Green. Oh, yeah, we got that. It was uh, awesome. It was funny, because um, be- um, Pearson... Fuck. Pearson fuck? Yeah, I love Pearson fuck. No, P- Al- Pearson... All this. Yeah. Determined that match. And they were just smiling at each other when Kel- and Chelsea came in complaining about not having a Mania match. I mean, Chelsea should have had a Mania match. Sure. No, she shouldn't have. Yeah, she no. Yeah, Chelsea is a main event talent. You should have main evented Mania. It should have been Roman versus Chelsea. I'm not, ta- I'm not talking to you anymore. Um, but Chelsea posted shortly after that um, the best 30 seconds of your, of your life. Yes. And I'm, I immediately quote tweeted that. I'm sure that's what Matt says every day. 
That wasn't even the best line about that. What was the best line? Just opened up. Drew came out first to the Fatal 4-Way. Mm -hmm. And was talking, and he said, First off, he called Damien Peace Bondage Undertaker. He's so off. It's Bisexual Undertaker. He, But he was making a joke on it. Yeah. But the best line was, My world title reign lasted 5 minutes and 46 seconds. It's a little over 5 minutes longer than most of you last in bed. <laughs> I don't know why we made so many sex jokes this last night, but it worked. Both of them worked. Because he's yeah. him. Yep. He's and then we had a fail far away for the number one containers match between Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Jay Uso, and someone I can't remember. Yeah. I want to think. I want to think it's one of the Viking Raiders, but I'm probably wrong there. What? So you said Jay. Drew, Ricochet, did you forget Bronson Reed? Oh, I forgot Bronson Reed because he sucks. He was good in the match. He still sucks. He was good in the match. Still sucks. I don't want to see him ever again. He will be a mid-card champion within the year. Probably. Um, But Jay Uso eventually came out the victor. After Drew McIntyre, I believe, got interfered on by CM Punk. The punk interfere? Yes. Okay, I just want to share. Ah! Drew had Drew had him lined up mm. for a claymore. He yes. was doing the countdown. Three, two, one. He goes to kick, and Drew CM Punk had his leg. So you know that happened. Jay Uso super kick Uso splash. Number one contender. No Don't, apparently, we do not know when that's going to happen. No. What? It's nice to see. I think Jay Uso did, deserves a World Heavyweight Championship run at some point. When? I don't know. But I don't think this Damien run's going to be very long. I think it's going to be... Maybe. My dog has my hand. Trying to make sure he doesn't eat it. That's cute. You're the child, Uso. Cap. Anything else that we have for this week of this long, long WrestleMania weekend that we streamed the whole thing? Can you not bite my hand? I have nothing else. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I don't have anything else off the top of my head. We will see you guys next Saturday when we debrief after the first week after Mania. Um. And eventually, um, we'll think we'll start being. I think we'll start bringing out more of those special episodes we had a while ago. Um, yeah. Because we have less to like focus on oh, for me. Also, shout out. Apparently, Seth was actually really hood. Was actually really hooded because he had to help to get in and out of the ring. Yeah, and that was real. He needs surgery. He, he's all, he's all, They said that Seth's gonna take a four week break. I'm like, bro, just go get your surgery. Take six months. Take a break. Take a long, long break, bro. You need it. And Roman's gonna be on the SmackDown before SummerSlam. It's already been announced. Really? Yes. That's wild. Hi. Anyways, um, yes, um, we'll talk to you guys next week, next Saturday, um, when we start to develop more about backlash, probably, I'm guessing, um, and more about the draft actually too. Um, more people will probably be declaring for the draft. I don't know how that process works, but I think only NXT people can. Maybe that may be well, uh, that might be possible. Does it mean Brian can also declare? He's still technically Brian's basically main roster, I think. But he, I mean, he's still tagged. He's the main roster on the WWE website. That's fair. But I was hoping. I, hey, Cora J, come to fucking Raw whenever she's ready. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for more wrestling stuff. Bye bye.